Yo, what is up, you guys? It's Makai Sippin here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your game look a lot better and how to see your enemies more clearly with these best settings that I'm about to show you guys. But before we start this video, I just want you guys to follow the Twitch, subscribe to the channel, and like the video. We're almost at 600 subs, and then also follow my TikTok. We got 6,300 followers on there. I'm grateful for that. And once you guys do all of that, we could just get started with the um, tutorial. All right, so now once you guys do, you gotta have to go to the settings and then go to the gameplay. Once you go to gameplay, scroll all the way down and then go to colorblind mode and put it on Tritonopia or either Protonopia. Now, the reason why you gotta put it on one of those two is because it makes your colors look a lot more vibrant and it also makes the contrast a little bit more higher and um, it just looks cleaner and way better than how it is if you just have it on no colorblind settings or just default. Uh, also, it makes the shadows look a lot lighter if you have it on and you can see people that's in a dark hiding. Pretty much that you heard this information before, but I'm just, you know, repeating it for the new people that's searching it up and my video just comes across to them. So yeah, just have these settings on so you can see better shadows and then your colors would be more vibrant if you have it on one of those two. Now, before we go to the next thing, I'm going to show you a before and after with this armor right here. So this is off. You see how it looks a lot more different. The red one looks a lot orange instead of red. And then this is with it on. Now you can see how this looks clean, more red, purple right here. Everything is just vibrant. This is how it looks like when you pick up the armor. It looks a lot better. Really recommend that you have these colorblind settings on. And yeah, let's go to the next thing. All right, so now the next thing you got to do is go to brightness and then you got to either have it on right here or right here. Now, the, why the reason why I recommend having it in one of those two instead of having it on max or leaving it on default is because, again, it makes the shadows a lot lighter. You can see a whole bunch of people right here if you have your settings light or higher. I mean, not lower. If you have those or like right there where I just put it out on the marker, uh, guarantee that the shadows are going to look a lot more different and it's going to look a lot lighter. Next thing you're gonna have to do is go to field of view and either have it between 94 or 110. The reason why you need it on 110 or 94 is because you'll see, obviously you see your enemies a lot better from left to right, top to bottom. Uh, if you don't know what FOV means, it means field of vision, obviously. Um, so yeah, if you have it on low, it's gonna look like this. If you have it on default, let me put it down. This is how it looks like if you have it on 70, you see how is there a major difference and you can't see nothing at all. So that's why you need to have those things on max or 94 so you can see your enemies more clearly, like I said from the beginning. And this is how it looks like after. So please have it on either 94 or 110 so you can see your enemies a lot more better. And yeah. All right. So now once you guys get those two things down, uh, what I want you to do, because since we're on console, uh, you're gonna have to go to your settings real quick because this is gonna make the game look even more better the quality better And you're gonna be able to see enemies more clearly instead of just seeing like blurry figures from all the way over in that direction So once you do press the Xbox or PlayStation button Oh, hold it too long. All right, then go to settings And then you're gonna have to go to general I think that's what it's called for PlayStation go to TV display options and I put your resolution to 1080p now, uh, some people have it set on 720 because they switched out their HDMI's or whatever. So that's why you know, your games might have been looking like really trash lately. So make sure you go to display and make sure that it says 1080p. Some people that has like better Xboxes, like the Series X or whatever, they have it on 4K. So then they just put it on 4K if you have the monitor for it. If not, leave it on 1080p. And then once you have it on 1080p, make sure that your overrides is HDMI, not DVI or auto detect. Auto detect recommended means that it's going to put it on the recommended settings that your monitor is on. You do not want that. Make sure it's on HDMI. And then once you do that, you're done with that. All right. So right now I'm on my phone right now and I'm going to show you guys a little tip if you're playing on monitors or TVs. So just grab your remote or press one of these buttons that's on the TV or monitor. And you can see you can see these settings right here. There's like brightness, there's um, contrast and all that stuff. But what you want to do is just go to the main thing, which is right here. It's going to say, um, you know, uh, picture color. OSD gaming, but the main thing you got to focus on is picture and color. Now what you got to do is just copy all of these if you want or just play around with it if you want to your game to look a little bit more different or prefer whatever it looks like towards your eyes. Everyone got different eyes or whatever preferences, whatever. But yeah, once you just press one of those, you know, colors, pictures, just keep uh, going to these bars and 
you know, just play around with it or make it look better how you want it to look like. Uh, my arm is really hurting right now, so that's why um, it's I'm going through it really weird. Turn off my monitor. And then that's it, you guys. Um, those are the three things I'm showing you guys right now, how to make your game look a little better on console. I know that's not really much because, you know, most people don't have flat screens. Most people don't have monitors. Most people don't play this game on PC, so they can't make their game look like you know how a pc players game looks like so we gotta just make the most of it anyways um thank you guys for watching all the way to the end um i hope you guys watch to the end and yeah i'm out of here you win perfect